Okay, so when I hit 1,000 subscribers, that was around the time that I was playing as the Griffonian Empire and doing a special path known as the Lord Protector, where you coup the Emperor and then you declare war on all of the vassals at the same time. However, the first time I did this, I kind of cheesed the system by letting the vassals justify against me so then I could fight them in a solo war and then I didn't have to do the declare war on everybody at once thing. Yeah, I kind of need to you know, rectify my past mistakes, and 2,000 subscribers is a perfect time to do it. Of course, thanks for everybody who's subscribed and supported the channel over all this, all this time. Some people have been around for many, many months now and others new. Anyway, welcome and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Also, Bread League at 2,500. At 2,500 subscribers, I will play the Bread League mod that I've been working on, which changes the Dread League into the Bread League. It's interesting. I'll play that for 2,500 subs and probably release the mod to Steam around that time if it's ready for the workshop, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, anyway. Ah, uh, and the Emperor has demonetized. If you watched the last video, yeah, that didn't happen for once, but we're back on track. Everything's happening normally once again. We'll just keep going along. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Hey, okay, here's the event, the Barrack Revolt. The revolt is crushed or soldiers storm the palace. We know what happens this time. Not very good things for Grover the Sixth. But, uh, so long live the Lord Protector. We're back in power. We'll get a new focus tree soon. Yeah, okay. Interesting stuff. And now everybody is free. Yeah, of course. If, if I were them, I would get my freedom too. Okay, so now we can, you know, dear Boreas, everything is on fire. Please send help. Do the classic stuff, but we'll get to the Herzmerz soon, I promise. Okay, things are starting fast. It's the end of anarchy. We've solidified our control over the nation. We're getting pretty close to our national focus, the Herzmerz. We just have all these and then we can do it. I may wait a little, but then again, I'm not going to cheese it like last time. I will declare war on everybody. If someone declares war on me, I might either restart or I'll just not invade them until I do the Herzmerz focus. So then I'll just keep all my divisions like garrisoning their border. They can attack into me, but I won't capitulate them until I'm at war with everybody. We'll find a way to make it work so that I actually do the Herzmerz, but I shouldn't have to do that anyway. Yeah, isn't it just great when through focus you convert all your civilian factories into military factories and then you have to trade to get enough resources to even use the military factories so then you have zero factories. That's... That's, that's, uh, it's a painful reality of the situation right now. Okay, Strawberry Duchy and Bronze Hill both started justifying war, but we started doing the hair smarts, so we're, we won't cheese it. Uh, well, uh, th th we, we might be losing already, possibly. This, this is not good. Okay, well, we kind of stabilized this front. I'm still really scared about declaring war on everybody after how bad this went already, and we won't have access to any oil either. We can like try to trade with people, but we're gonna lose this. There's no way we can hold on to this too. Okay, there we go. Um, we just declared war on everybody else, I guess. Um, I guess we just can hope and pray now. No, oh, no, this, this is all, oh. This is the opposite of what you want to see right here. See, that's a, that's a lot of red. Why are there seven divisions here? What? Okay, it's time to put my trust in the frontline AI. Ah, uh, such a good idea. I don't even know where- I usually am looking to make moves in places, but I, I don't know. Don't know what we're even gonna do. We're pretty much just losing everywhere. Yeah, this- this must be impossible, or- well, well like, impossible for this early. I can't, I can't think of any sort of division build or anything that could survive. Like, I don't know, maybe no artillery, but no artillery seems like it would just make it even more difficult. How are losses looking? Yeah. Um, well, we're not really even trading that well. Oh, no. And we're almost out of oil, and we have no way to get any, I don't think. Oh, we can get a research slot there, but no, no oil. Unless, where, where is some oil? There's some there. <laughs> there's, there's no way we're getting to any of the oil. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what I was thinking when I decided to have my army actually focus on stuff that needed oil. Oh no, okay, well, um, so, so, some modifier must have ticked and told them to start mass attacking again. I really want to get this city. I don't know if I can, though. It's just, 
Uh, if we had just had some fuel, I wish I conserved the fuel better. I started conserving it, but it was too late. Only if I started conserving it slightly earlier, then I could put Cass up whenever I just needed a slight boost just for a second. There we go. Okay, we got it back. What what was what was in this state again? Three mils and a sieve. That's good. Plane's useless now. And our border is actually stable. This is probably the best it's ever been. And this is without air, too. All these planes we made are useless now. I, I don't know why I was counting so much on planes when I didn't... When there's no way I could have oil. It's not like I forgot that I wouldn't have oil. The entire time I was planning on giving up this, so I knew I wouldn't have oil. I don't know. I just didn't make the connection. I don't know. How many divisions are probably in Katarin defending stuff? I don't want to, like, get my divisions encircled. Yeah. I, I better take this city back, too. It looks like I probably could right now. It's complicated. I want to capitulate someone. Like, I, I'll try to capitulate Katarin, but if I capitulate them, is it even worth it? Because I can't hold that entire border. So even if I capitulate them, it's not like they would just get uncapitulated. Hey, this guy is dead unless we can capitulate Katarin. Oh! Oh, wait! Yeah, they're not in a faction! Oh, bi I forgot about this! Oh, yes, yes. The smart moves right here. Fill up our fuel. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, this is it. We have a connection to the longsword for now. We have to use this time strategically to get all of our fuel back up. Uh, only if we had enough divisions to, like, maintain a presence. This is what we're gonna have to do, though. We're just gonna have to sneakily, um, capitulate people one by one. Do we really still only have two? Yeah, I guess since these aren't core states, but we'll just fill up with whatever fuel we can get for now. I feel like it's Bronze Hill next, okay? So we'll take out Bronze Hill next, and we will take the oil, too, and we'll try to defend the oil. Because if we can defend the oil, then we get air superiority, and we get our tanks. totally make a push for the oil if I only like if I wasn't being destroyed in the south right now I could get the oil I could get the oil but it's not really worth it is it because even if I had the oil it's not like because I have oil right now and the situation's not that good I guess I could use more cast if I had the oil hmm, well Capitulating Bronze Hill actually didn't work because they had a tank up there and their divisions kind of were smart. I guess we could try again. We could actually bring in an army because it looks like this border down here is finally stable for once. All we have to do is keep 30 fighters in the air and everything is fine. And that we can do this for two years, so we don't have to worry about fuel. Oh no, our tank is being used. It's using up all of our fuel and Griffenheim's falling. So 
this time, I decided to kind of avoid the tank thing. The tank thing was a bad idea. I, it's not good to invest into tanks, no oil or nothing like that. Even though this time I am going to try to hold over here, so maybe I should have if I can actually get oil through Helquil, but this is still really tricky. And the Strawberry Duchy just declared war, but I don't plan on doing the Hair Smerts just yet. Even though this time I am much more well defended, I have actually built some level 1 forts, so that's like whatever, but I have at least two divisions on every tile, except right here across this river. We should be perfectly fine right here with just these five. Okay, so again, to not break the spirit of the battle, I didn't invade the Strawberry Duchy at all until I did the Herzschmerz. And if my southern area that now has forts and actually divisions falls apart again, I might just alt F4. Ugh, okay, this, this, this doesn't look very good right here. This really doesn't look good. And welcome to what is an actually pretty late war for this Herzschmerz. But we're at war with everybody and I don't know, maybe we're, we'll do better. Yale just seems to be the problem, like this front down here, like, I spent the entire game just building forts, like, I haven't built anything other than forts. My air force is kind of bad because I can't trade anything because my stability's bad and, I've ha I'm, and I'm having strikes. Everything is just going terribly. They're not, they're not attacking. I might finally have enough divisions down here that they don't want to attack me. Oh, and the forts too, like, all the tiles that connect to three tiles are at least this one's a level 3, and a couple of these are level 4s. We finally might have found a way to get them to stop. Uh, if, we c if we can capitulate Bronze Hill. Oh, it it'll just be a it'll just be amazing. It'll be like a spin wheel. Like, we'll go into Bronze Hill, and then we'll move this attack army onto this border, capitulate Strawberry, and then we'll just keep going around the circle uh, with this army. Uh, I guess I probably should put them on Dawnclaw so they get an attack bonus instead of this guy's defense bonus. Okay, they're, they're gonna capitulate, okay. Okay, this is the first step in our plan. This might actually work. It's always been the south, because look at the massive amount of divisions they have in every tile. It's always been this. And to get this to hold changes everything. Like this makes the entire strategy way easier when the south actually holds. But now we need a ton of compliance to core this. We get like some special modifier, I think, integration, yeah. Now we have some oil, like a tiny bit, but that's enough. We're not even, we're only using tanks for defense, so we don't even really need oil. The tanks are just there for a deterrent.
Okay, another one. Okay, this is it. This is we find how <laughs> finally it took what is this? Three tries? Four? I think it's three, but Okay, Gryphon Martian is down. They have a lot of divisions still in Yale, so that's useful. Yeah, see this border is like way less defended now. Like we could maybe even like just push in through there. Once we capitulate Romal, that's when things will really get better, because Romal has a ton of divisions, and their capital is probably the least defended tile they own. <laughs> okay. Uh Romal was kind of stupid and put all their divisions up in the north and didn't defend their capital, so... The final one. That's it. That's it. Okay, okay. It, it took a few tries. It wasn't as easy as I their first thought it was, but it, at the same time wasn't too difficult. All we had to do was to defend our southern border with like these this fort line and all those tanks. I also did where is it? This focus right here, which gave us three free panzers. Which, they weren't very good divisions, but I think they were good deterrents, kind of, for that southern border. But anyway, thanks for thanks for watching that 2,000 subscriber special. Kind of, kind of insane, but still fun. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.